This is Collider Video, and around here, we like our toys. We like them a lot. They represent incredible imagination and spark a lot of creativity. So it's kind of a big deal when we get a new toy in the office. We thought we'd share that with you. This is Collider Unboxed. Hey everybody, and welcome to Collider Unboxed. My name's John Campia. I'm here with the one and only Jeremy Johns, the wonderful Tiffany Smith, and in front of us, still in the box it was delivered in, is the new Alien Warrior, right from Sideshow Collectibles. We have not touched this thing yet. We've been waiting for you guys to join us. It's like Christmas. And as true nerds know, this is how you handle the hot toys. You're so gross. I know. We were introduced to the world of the aliens in 1979 with the classic Ridley Scott film, but it wasn't until the sequel in 1986 when James Cameron took the helm that the current incarnation of the xenomorph, the alien that gives us all nightmares at night, really was brought to life. And now we're going to take a look at it in toy form. But before we do, look at this. The alien, also referred to as Xenomorph XX121, is the extraterrestrial species and monstrous antagonist of the alien film series. The creature isn't your usual run-of-the-mill extraterrestrial race found in most science fiction movies, for they lack the ability for any civilized thought. They are weapons, pure and simple, and bred by the engineers, as seen in the prequel movie Prometheus. The life cycle involves three stages. The egg, which unleashes a parasite or face hugger that plants a larvae inside a living host. The third stage gives way to a chest buster after a short incubation period that rapidly matures from juvenile to adult within hours. The alien design is credited to Swiss surrealist and artist H.R. Geiger, which originated the design in a lithograph titled Necromon 4. The practical effects were then handled by future E.T. creator Carlo Rimbaldi, who gave life to the monstrosity with the help of a seven-foot Nigerian actor. The iconic creature made its debut in 1979's Alien, directed by Ridley Scott, and reappeared again over five subsequent films, including the much maligned Alien vs. Predator spin-off movies. Okay, so this box has been sitting in our office right. for a couple of days now. Nothing else. Let's just get into this. Yeah, thing. all right. I've been seething for a while, so I'm gonna have to. You've got the gloves and everything. Yeah, like, dude. Like... I'm telling you, I, I feel like Doctor Strange Seriously? pre-accident. Yeah, don't get blood on the. Would it be funny if they sent us the wrong toy? That I'm a little would... nervous know, to like, be this on. close. To I, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, did your mother not ever teach you not to pull knives towards? Actually, yourself? I, I've had jobs <laughs> that taught me that, and my mom, and and I'm just I'm just waiting for that dare to be great situation where I actually slice something vital. Okay, so again, the yeah. now this is just the the, the FedEx shipping. Yeah, this is the shipping box, and then the real boxes. Okay, As gravity shall help got me. Got it. There we go. Oh man! Oh. How cool is that? We got it's upside down. Let's flip it over. Aliens, plural. Okay. Can I can I without you know gloves take off the plastic? <clears throat> How did yes? I tend to find that guys who wear white gloves get very particular. Yeah, like I'm afraid I'm gonna get fingerprints on here and you're gonna be really upset with me. Oh. I just love that it made you that. Oh, it's all glossy. Yeah, dude. All right, too. yeah. So this thing's gonna slide off in a second. Wait, I gotta read what's on it though. Yeah, yeah. One six scale collectible figure. Yes, indeed. Alien, alien warrior. Is this, that's the actual aliens. name? Of, the yeah. official name he of the toy. Is the queen alien? You know that's coming. Which is so cool. And guys, just we're probably gonna say it a million times, but this one is from Aliens. Yeah. Even though it's called Alien Warrior. You know what's great? Now you can like really see the alien head on there, which is pretty sweet that's looking. Good. So what does it say on the back here? It says again, she's the Alien war what Warrior. Because it's the cast and crew, and let's turn it. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> okay. It's in there. It even comes with slime. That, does uh, it? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It's the yellow blood. blood. Yeah, it's the, the blood. It's the blood. blood. Yeah, yeah, it's the yellow oh, no acidic blood. Yeah, it really does. Blood. That's awesome. I'm telling you, you can put it on its head here. We'll get, we'll get into it. There's more cutting to happen. Okay. There's okay. more cutting. All right. What I love so much about the alien and aliens design is that it has that humanoid aspect yeah. to it, but it's also mechanical. It's yeah. so cool. The funny thing is that the the humanoid design is what prevents it from being too alien. Yeah. So it, it feels a little bit more to home, which is what really makes it frightening Scary. and terrifying yeah. when you see it for the first yeah. time. Oh, okay, here we go. Good old xenomorph taking on the properties <laughs> of that. Okay, which now this is infects. where we're actually going to get our first good look at yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Here, here we're going to like open it up. We're going to have <laughs> ourselves. That's it. It's really tall. As an owner of many a hot toy, this is I'm touching actually, it, I don't care if I don't have white gloves on. I feel like John Hammond in Jurassic Park taking the shells off the baby raptor. <laughs> like, oh, it helps him to trust me more. Where's the tape? That's right, oh yeah. Okay, I got See, it. See, they make it tricky here. There we go. All there right, you are. should be able to remove it gently. Yes. Beautiful. Look at the detail. What is that, dude? Oh my gosh. Here, and yeah, his oh, oh, his tail, tail is like really it's articulated actually too. actually alive, Whoa. it moves. Okay, now like look at this. This is a pretty cool one right here. Look at that. Especially running like along the sides and the teeth when you look into the mouth too. Yep. 
the jaw actually moves wow. just a little bit. Now, what are your where, where do you what put else the, you where do you yeah, put yeah. the acid? Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. So on his a uh, little bit right there, <laughs> like he got shot. <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> you so have cool. Someone shooting him right there. I so, love it so much. He's being victimized here. But. Yes. All right, where do we put this? Because if we know anything oh. about the alien from the movies, mm. is that the alien is actually the victim of the story. Yes. Inside. Those darn humans. You got some movement in the head too. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. This. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, there so you go. So he's gotten shot in the head. <laughs> wow. That's, so cool. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like the 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 hands the are. Wrist has articulation. The hands are remov removable. Yeah, they're removable. They uh, they're on a ball. And then we have ourselves the aliens warrior stand. It's just so much detail. I love so it. That is a cool. Yeah. So it's straight up from aliens right here. Like right out of the base. Yeah. The in the base. Yeah, for sure. That's uh that's some LV four twenty six uh, action right there. So then you take this. Oh. Here we are. Yeah, and he'll uh. Does it? Put him, yeah, yeah. Just forward like this. I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> and then he's gonna stand like a champ. Here, wait. Yeah, he's on stuff. But. Okay, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Also, I would just like really to point neat. out the fact that there is an instruction no. manual no, 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 we're that guys, none no. of us looked at. <laughs> no, 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 there's no need for instruction. Wait, it no says on here, arms can be raised to the sides within 30, 30 degrees, degrees. Yeah, yeah. which we didn't even pay attention to. Uh, but we felt it. Uh, what else? Yeah. Due to the nature of the material, don't keep the inner jaw extended for long periods. <gasps> Wait, does the second head come out? No. Does it? Yeah, there's a, oh! Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, cool! All right, oh hold my on. God. I'm gonna, his blood's gonna fall off in a second. And he's he literally, your, yeah, he's your, bit your my glove. glove. <laughs> okay, so, so he has he has a little like yeah, there's a little oh. jaw in there that I would oh yeah. My God. Oh, that's, that's so insane. Awesome. So yeah, so they said don't keep the inner mouth out for too long because it's pretty would be Meanwhile, warm. Jeremy's not gonna stand for the next five minutes no. with it held open. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Guys, again, <laughs> we did not. You're supposed to push from the back. There's a button. <gasps> oh, instruction! Look, look, open. you gotta, you gotta stop that. You gotta stop that. That's so rad. <laughs> Aren't you glad that I read the instructions? No, no, no. I, I, I had to figure it out. <laughs> that's really neat, though. And. If you read the instructions, you would know that his legs bend 90 degrees. Well, I did know his legs bend 90 knee. degrees. That's really cool, though. What Look is, at this. What is really, it's, it's the little details like that, but even when yeah. his mouth's open, you look in the detail on the teeth. Yeah. Like, you can see, just from the exterior, the incredible detail of going through the body, the arms, the legs, the tail. But even when you open his mouth, like, they go right to the exterior teeth, the interior teeth, and the veins. The veins, the, yeah, the tendons. The interior, yeah, the tendons on the interior mouth. It's yeah. just I love insane. it. Insane. Yeah, I love the fact that I was going to mention that. I'm glad you mentioned that. The tendons on the, like, it's there's no break in the mouth. The tendons just stretch and allow for the uh, the mouth to come so out. That's cool. so, that is pretty neat. Sometimes you'll get beasts and monsters in movies and genetically speaking, it wouldn't necessarily work, but I mm -hmm. love this design so much because it's like the extended wanna, skull so that the second thing. head can fit mm -hmm. in. There's no nose on the front, which is why you have the ventricles all in the back, which is where he act the aliens actually breathe from. Yeah, I'm a dork. Dude, good job. That's awesome. I didn't know. I don't know much about like how the human body is put together, but Let's I know how the aliens stand. are put together. Yeah. So we've had a chance to look a little closely at this thing. We've pulled this thing out of its box. We've got it all put together here. So let me ask you guys this thing. You get this toy. Mm -hmm. Do you keep it in its box? Do you put it up on a shelf, oh. or do you put it in a collector's case? Well, I know the answer for Jeremy, because yeah. he's the only one with white gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> what, do on I, this what do I do? What do you think I would do? Either it's on a shelf and no one is allowed to touch it, or it's in a collectible box. I don't know if you go as far as having the box. I'm That's telling you true. something, when I saw it, when I saw the picture on the box, I thought this thing would go up on a shelf in my office, but now that I'm looking at it up front, the case. details yeah. in the mouth, all that kind of stuff, this thing goes into a collector's case for me. What about you? You see, John, on this side of the table, Tiffany, we, we, what I'm saying is at first, you're like, oh, it'll be on a shelf. It'll be totally fine. And then you're like, I'm compromising it with dust. So what you do is you go to Ikea, you get some detail cases, right? It'll, it has uh, four <laughs> shelves on there. Then you get some lights, put them on the you're side. Showing. And you're so you can, showing I don't even care. Right and then you put this thing right in there. You might actually have to take a shelf off. This is really tall. This is a big I one. I don't think it would fit. In uh, uh, you might have to take one shelf off, which is perfect because you have your best Ben Luke hanging down. It'll be perfectly fine. I am the opposite. I want it to be out so I can play with it. I really? like to play. I literally, I play with my toys. All right, hold. Like I did when I was little. <laughs> hold on. So I have white gloves. I'm talking about collector's cases. You're like, you're nerd showing. You know what's awesome? Playing with toys is good. <laughs> That's what they're for. I uh, I don't disagree. They're meant to be played with. You get your nerd on. And this is how we get my nerd on. I'm just saying. We're all yeah. nerds here. It's fine. Oh, okay. totally. I think this it's really safe cool to say though. we all really love this toy. This is 
absolutely amazing the amount of care and detail that's gone into it. The Alien Warrior figure from Sideshow Collectibles is a sixth scale figure by Hot Toys. Designed by Joseph Sang and Locke Ho, the figure is 13.77 inches in height and weighs in at 7 pounds. The figure is priced at $249.99. What toy would you like to see us unbox? Make sure you jump on Twitter and tweet to us. Use the hashtag Collider Unbox and tell us what toy you would like us to see open. I want to thank Jeremy and Tiffany, and thank you to you guys for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Collider Unboxed.